Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 5th to the 11th of February 2024. So we start the week with Mercury conjunct Pluto at the 0 degrees Aquarius point that we've been talking about for the last few months. So this hasn't happened for 250 years. Combination of Mercury, the mind and Pluto transformation. So obviously here we're looking at a purification of the mind, transmutation of some of our heavier thoughts, making them lighter and a deepening of our ability to communicate with each other and express ourselves. So a really powerful combination here. Take time to have a look at your thoughts. What are you thinking? How are you thinking? Can you change your perspective? Can you go deeper? How are you communicating? What are you saying? Why are you saying? And to who? Because although Mercury is involved, I feel this is more of an inwards, silent meditation rather than an external, chatty expression. Mercury can be quite electric in Aquarius, a little bit hectic maybe, erratic, unconventional, slightly shocking, funny, outrageous, audacious. So there might be some surprise revelations that can come out in the next few weeks while Mercury goes through Aquarius. But starting off this month on a PowerPoint, meeting up with Pluto, and we really have the ability to become masters of our mind now, manage our thoughts, elevate our perspective and communicate authentically. At the same time this week, we are coming out of the Saturn retrograde shadow. So taking us back to midsummer, Saturn turned retrograde in Pisces. And now we're coming out of the complete phase of that. And this in the whole will have taught us boundaries, healthy boundaries, a sense of a strong and secure core, but compassion and empathy as a nature, anchoring us spiritually the very centre of ourselves and possibly even learning about the importance of taking control on the inside but still being able to go with the flow, to let go, to trust, to float. So however that one's impacted you, we're just coming out of that now and that's from 0 to 7 degrees Pisces. If you've got anything there in your chart, you can meditate into what that has meant for you. By the 9th we have the new moon at 20 degrees Aquarius. So starting the year of the wood dragon, on the 9th, that's at 10.57am UK time. So the Chinese saw this as the new moon of the year. It's an interesting time to have new year. But in a way, this is the new year because we've had the Pluto movement and the initiation with Mercury. And now this new moon is the first activity to come in after all that has settled. And we'll start to put into practice now what we've been talking about, what you send out from your heart, the waves that can be measured coming out of your heart, whatever frequency that's on is going to start to modulate back our own frequencies so the purification that Pluto has brought hopefully purifying our minds and our, raising our perspective as well now we can center in the heart and literally be what we want to attract we can be the change that we want to see everything has to start on the inside first you have to feel in the present tense the end result of the desire what does it feel like to XYZ and then learn to amplify that and radiate it for quantum heart manifestation. So this begins a very interesting year and age in Aquarius with the new moon, the dragon, and a very active, deeply transformative Pluto. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com for readings. I have courses with notes and videos, astrology, tarot, numerology, and offer coaching to help dig up some of those persistent habitual thoughts and beliefs and pull them up at the roots. Post these videos on YouTube, Zoe Astro, Facebook, Astro Zoe, and Instagram, Zoe Hind 7. So do look at your chart. Do try to follow along with astrology more and more. Do know that you can learn astrology from the inside out. It's more like remembering than having to learn from books. Your chart is your soul plan and your blueprint. And each of the planets are an archetype within you. You have a magician and a high priestess and an empress and a spiritual warrior. So my courses concentrate on introducing you to your inner universe that you're already living with and have already felt so that we can start to learn the aspects of our chart from the inside out in an intuitive way. And as Aquarius is the sign most adept to understand astrology and to feel the cosmic waves, aligned with the star card in tarot, then this really is a great time to study astrology more deeply, to get to know your own chart, and to benefit more deeply from this sacred old system.
So take it easy this week, see what the new moon feels like. Not much to be done, it's about being, not doing from now on. But I think these energies should feel quite uh, exciting and sparky. So wishing you a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week.